Now let's go to the header section. We will leave around four rows here to add our logo and the quotation title. And from fifth row, we will start entering the header information. We are going to type customer name here. We'll leave three lines for address and then name of the person to whom you want to send this quotation to and subject. Let's increase this width a little bit more so that this data is taken care of properly. In terms of the other information like your quotation reference number, quote date, inquiry reference, inquiry date, currency. Now in this particular case, we are going to write align this text so that the information on this side and the title are well aligned. We will make this bold. So our header information is ready. For the date fields, we are going to select the date formatting. So we will right click, format cells, go to number, tab, select date. We will select the date format as we require and click OK. Now that we have selected this particular cell with date format that we need, we need to do the same for this date cell also. So there is a shortcut to copy a formatting done for a particular cell into another cell. So we will come here. We want to copy formats of this cell to this cell. So after selecting this cell, we will use format painter shortcut. We will click on it. Go to the cell where you want to paste this formatting and click here. If you see here now, this particular cell also has date formatting. So for example, if I type 26 Jan here, then the same date format is there in here too. So I'm going to remove this information for the time being. So our header template is ready. The main template table is ready. Now we have to prepare the totals summary.